This video series will demonstrate how to use our brand new Deluxe Series DVR. The Deluxe Series DVR can be found at www.securitycamerakeng.com and is our newest entry level unit. It features MPEG-4 compression, is very easy to use, has more features than you'll probably ever need for an entry level unit, and provides very clean, crisp of video. As you can see right here, we're looking at a four channel view right now. This unit is available in both a four channel and a nine channel configuration. All you have to do on the remote control is just press the button that corresponds to the channel that you want to view and it will take you to that channel. Operation of a PTZ camera is very easy. Please keep in mind that a PTZ camera is not included with this unit, but to operate it, you can do it straight from the remote control. Unfortunately, it's been raining, so I'm sorry that it's a little hazy out there, but you'll notice how easy it is to use it. If you want to zoom in, all you do is hit zoom, and you can zoom in, and you can zoom out, and again, very easy to use with the remote control. You can also use it from the face of the DVR or over the internet. In addition, this unit has many different features available. Uh, you have in the menu, you can do your camera setup where you can turn your cameras on or off. You can also do your record setup. And right now it shows all four cameras are recording. You can select the frame rate that you want to record at right here for each channel. You can also go in and check your quality. You can put a record schedule. Normally we recommend that you use motion sensing. In this case, it's set to record 24-7. You can do any combination. You could set it to record 24-7 during the business day, but then at night have it record motion only. Uh, the sensor setup is for your alarm inputs. In addition, you got your hard drive set up. In this case, we've got a 250 gig hard drive. It shows 56% of the hard drive has been used. You can configure the unit to rewrite over itself automatically once the unit has filled up with video. Uh, in your miscellaneous setup, this is where you can set up a channel to be hidden if you have like a covert camera or a camera you don't want anybody else to be able to see. You can also go in and set up your PTZ. If you have a PTZ, put in all your passwords, uh, alarm notifications, and firmware upgrades. In your network setup, this is where you put in your IP address that will allow you to connect to your DVR over the internet. Also, it features DDNS right down here, which will allow you to use this DVR with a free DDNS service to track a dynamic IP address if you don't have a static IP. Also, you can do your video backup from here. All you do is choose a start time and date and the end time and date. Then it will tell you how large the file is. And then you can choose to either back it up to a DVD or a CD player which is not included with the unit that you can plug into the USB port or you can simply back it up straight to a USB thumb drive which is really very easy. Also to view your recorded footage all you do very very simple all you have to do is just hit play and boom right now you are looking at recorded footage and then you can simply rewind and you'll see here as we're rewinding you're gonna notice that everything here starts moving and when you see something you want to watch all you do is hit play and it'll start playing and you can also fast forward at all different speeds exactly the same way in addition to the simple form of playback you can also do a search and all you do is hit menu while you're doing playback and then you can go in and you can select any event or time for example right now we're gonna look at footage from 951 this morning and all you hit is play and now we're looking at footage from 9.51 this morning. All four cameras playing back at the same time. So again, very simple to use, very easy interface. It provides a great video. I think it's a DVR that you're really going to enjoy.